Ne? You didn't say get the net. I, I asked you, I said net, and you didn't respond. <laughs> it's on the other side. It's that side right there. Well, I'm about to put a text rig on. I'm about to put text rig on. Do you agree to drop top water, put text rig on? What's that? Do you agree to cut the top water, put text rig on? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my. You missed two. Oh. Five up. It's our first time out here too, so we're just trying to find the spots that I was It's tough. Alright. This is tough. It's better though, because like it seems like everyone's having the same trouble. Oh, it's it's tough. Yeah. Usually it's not this tough. at home what you've missed this time this, this has been uh shut off ryan got a big smallie and he just got an even bigger one probably about four four and a half pounds no no that's about maybe four ryan says four need two more again Fish? Don't lose them. Feel good? Yep. All right, bud. You're never going to believe this. Is it a fish? I got it on video. I, I literally, for some reason, I dropped my rod straight down, Brian. So I'd like to clarify that I'm an idiot. I decided to turn the GoPro off to save battery. And in the process, got three pounds. My pants are all ripped. And I missed me and Brian freaking out like crazy. Because it took us a good three minutes to get in. Just saying. Uh, we got a limit. We got a limit. It took till 11:30 to get a limit. We got a limit. We got a good, well, almost a good limit. Almost. You were. Now we just need to get rid of that little large mouth. What, what would you ever think of me saying, "Let's get rid of the large mouth"? Like I said earlier, <laughs> like usually it's like, "All right, I have two big large mouth and one small small mouth." You're not used to saying, "Oh, I have four huge large smallies and one tiny large." They seem like they're pretty alive. Like, did you? I didn't look in here. Make sure they're all alive. Make sure they all look good. Yep. Okay. <laughs> My live wells usually are pretty good. You got it. Oh, he's a monster. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, he's gonna crawl. Let's get him in.
down in there. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, I don't want to lose any. Just, no, I think it's red. Is it red? Yeah, it's the one we're going to take him off. <laughs> Come on, Jake. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wow, what an upgrade. Oh. Now we have a shot. Get that off. Come on, you can do it. Get that fucking Throw him back. Look at this upgrade. That is a big upgrade. Oh. Ryan, I'm waiting for it. Oh. Nice fish, huh? Oh. Wow. You just came in clutch. Todd. 15 minutes left and Brian just came in clutch. Where'd you get that one? That way? Right there, right out in here. Just, I, I, it was in the weeds. I bounced it out of the weeds and he just hammered it. Oh, God. I mean, he hammered that thing. My, my heart jumped oh. the second I looked over and I saw your rod bent over. That's another three and a half, And dude. I heard the clicking. Then I heard the clicking. <laughs> oh. I got a pee now because of that. No. <laughs> I do. You, you scared me. What a fish. That was, another, so, that was so stressful. Another three and three quarter. I turned the GoPro so I got most of it. All right, so basically I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of how the tournament went. We ended up getting third, and we should have had second. We had second. We actually took a picture with the second place trophy. We got handed the second place prize money. And what happened was the guy that like basically what it should have had a second. Originally, he came in with two dead fish. And he had, his boat, boat was next to ours. Brian's friends with him. And Brian said to him like, oh, like how'd you do? And he's like, well, I got five by two dead fish. I'm like, oh, that's not good. Cause in this club that we were fishing with yesterday, each dead fish is an eight ounce penalty. So that's not good. And we ended up originally having second. These guys got first because they, they had a five and a half pounder. So they had 15 pounds overall. We had 14.6. So we were pretty close. We were still up there. And then third place guys, they had 13.3. Because the guy that had the two dead fish originally, he had 14.4 or something like that. He had 14 something. And what happened was, he had two dead fish. <laughs> and one of them apparently, when they dumped it into the bucket to check see if they're alive, it was floating upside down, but still had its gills moving a little bit. And if you ask me, if that's, that's as good as dead. He, he's a nice guy, and he was even shocked that they gave it to him. But they marked down the numbers wrong, and as they were getting in the truck, they are like, oh no, everybody come back, everybody come back, came back. And they're like, all right, we, they redid all the numbers and everything, and we ended up getting third, and they ended up getting second, and then third. But it wasn't bad. It was not bad. It wasn't a bad day. I've never, and I only got one of the catches on camera. I, I didn't even get mine on camera, but basically we caught them all on a drop shot. Every single fish. It was... It was probably, I don't even know how warm it was out. It was probably about 87 degrees all day. The water temps were 74, 75, somewhere around there. And it was just bluebird skies. Bluebird skies, sunny, hot, humid. No wind, no wind at all. <laughs> like the lake was dead calm all day. And I was like, all right, we need to stay in the strike zone longer. So literally, I was about to like put one on mine, on my drop shot, and Brian goes, I'm gonna drop shot this. I was like, all right, well, that's what I was thinking. So we ended up drop shotting. And probably about 10 minutes later, we got another one. And this one was a giant. It ended up being, I think, four and a half pounds. It was a four and a half pound Smalley. And we waited in for our Lunker, but the Lunker was actually a large mouth. That was a pound bigger than ours. So it, it is what it is, though. Just stuck our bait fish. So I looked over the side, and the sun shined down on it, and literally you could see bait fish 
as far as you can see it through the water. The water's usually clearer there, Brian said, but you could get probably about a four foot visibility through there, and I could see four foot straight bait fish. So anyways, catch you later.